It's like you walked into a room with similar minded like people. That's it. I don't think I'm posting on Instagram anymore. I think I'm officially done. I'm not on Instagram anymore and here's the reason why. I don't know if you guys heard about this new app called Lemonade, but I am obsessed. All my attention span has gotten there for the past couple days where I forgot to post on my other social media apps, believe it or not, because I've come to find out they're not holding my attention as much as this new app has. As a content creator, as an artist, as someone who enjoys posting photos and creating stories around it, I've noticed that on Instagram, it is not doing me a favor anymore. As a follower and someone who is an influencer, I'm not getting benefits on either side. My artwork's not being pushed out there to new followership and viewers, nor am I getting interested in getting any kind of the feed that's coming to me based on the algorithms. It's just so much noise there that I've officially kind of retrieved it back a little bit. And when I heard there was a new social media app that was out, well, I'll be honest, as an older millennial, I cringed immediately. I said, oh no, not another one. It's already hard trying to keep up with the social apps I already have and the trends are happening around them. That to add another one on the list was just seemed like another burden and wasting my time. Or another place for me to just go and copy and paste already what I have. But I wanted to be open-minded and as a content creator, you have to be because those are the new opportunities when either an existing social media app has new features or in this case, a new app completely comes out that you get an opportunity to be in front of new audience. So I became a novice and opened myself up to trying this out. And as soon as I got onto it, I understood why people said it's Pinterest meets Instagram. I am completely hooked. It's so motivating and inspiring because of how aesthetically pleasing the app is built and the content creators that are on there. Almost as if I found my people. It's like you walked into a room with similar minded like people with similar interests and all you're doing is grabbing ideas and sharing back and forth. The post and the content on there is photo centric, which I really appreciate. So. It is even though a photo and video based platform, you're gonna see a lot of people posting photos specifically and creating stories around it. Okay, so let me give you guys a quick glimpse of what it looks like and kind of explain a little bit further the features that I really like and appreciate about this app. I am now going to give you guys a tutorial because you can have your own opportunity on joining in on the app by signing up or there's probably gonna be plenty of videos popping up eventually right behind this one that will give you an explanation further into detail on how to use it. But in this case, I'm just giving you an honest review. We're just gonna look real quick on what I appreciate about this app and kind of go from there. The first thing when you sign on is that you're gonna see the following in for you. It's pretty self-explanatory. I think you guys can get the idea that the following is gonna be people that you follow and their feed. And then the for you is gonna be uh, based on your interest and what the algorithm uh, thinks that you'll like and what it wants to promote to you. Now there are seven top categories from travel to food to fashion, you name it. Very similar to what we're seeing on other social media apps and the categories that a lot of people are in or interested in. And so you'll get a lot of that very saturated view of those kind of avenues. But what I really love about it, and as you can see here, it's just love that everything's so aesthetically pleasing in terms of like adding text on top of photos, but explaining it too. So whether it's what's your Starbucks drink order and how do you order and what's in it to my case, um, here's one where it says camping reminders that saved my life. So top, you know, three reminders on what to do when you're going camping. Now, the caption part is so important because you get a chance to go in depth and people want to know more about you. They want to understand that unfiltered side of you. So just expressing yourself a little bit further about like your life and who you are and I just really appreciate that when I was on Instagram, I used to post stories a lot. And when I posted stories, I want, I loved writing captions on top of it, text and just kind of adding different like images. And in this case, you can do that. You're able to 
here, go ahead and like, for example, on my photo here on Spring Nails Inspiration, I get to add, I got to add these flowers that I was able to just download online from Google as a clip art and then take away the background, which you can do on the app and then just paste it on. And it just makes the photo just 10 times better looking than if it was just to be posted as is. And I noticed that on Instagram that it just doesn't capture my attention anymore. And why it's similar to Pinterest is because the feed is very much like that. So if we go to the For You page, you're gonna see a lot of it just kind of like inspirations, like how can you create this dish or how am I able to do na these nails or here's an idea for home decoration. Um, and again, you get to connect with people and it's becoming a community, again, of like-minded individuals and trying to gather together, but finding them in a way that we may have not been able to through other forms of social media that are in existence now. And what I like most is people are so much more friendlier, I feel here. I don't know, maybe because it's just new or I'm just tapping into the right communities that are on there. It's all about responding to each other, connecting, not so much just selling to each other. So they're really trying to have people stay away from posting any kind of Amazon links, affiliate links, um, trying to sell you outside of the platform. It's more so kind of how do we help each other? and how can we push each other uh, further into more inspiration and artistic individualism. I definitely see myself expanding a little bit further into this app. I'm really curious to understand how it's going to continue helping other content creators or influencers. Not so much in the monetization because that will always come and that will happen, but you can definitely see that they're taking what a lot of us as users appreciated from TikTok and Instagram and all these other social media apps and just almost adding them into one. And I can see them really listening to the users and what they want and how to put forward community outlook first, less of a self-promotion. I am 1010 for this app. I'm excited to see what more comes out of it. I'm really curious to see what you guys think of it. Are you excited that it's a new app and that it's something that curates to your needs and interests? Or is this just another one to add on the list and it's just gonna take away more of your time? Let me know in the comments below. And if not, I'll see you guys on there. Please add me. Bye.